Hi everybody, it's Money Saving Coupon Gal. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome to my channel. I have been MIA for a couple of days because I've been sick in bed. I mean, when I say in bed, I've been in bed sleeping almost 24 hours a day. I don't know what hit me. Today's really my first day up and about, but it really kicked my butt. Now today, my husband and I have been sniffling. He's been sneezing. He already went to bed. I mean, it's just been crazy. I don't know what kind of bug we're getting, but anyways, uh, it was, it whatever I had before kicked my butt, and, um, and then one of our labs is sick, and uh, it's just been crazy. So anyways, I have a Walmart haul. Actually, it's a good size one and a small one. I'm going to put them together. We went to two different stores, so let's get started and see what I got. Okay, to start with, I got a couple of shirts. I have an order to make two different shirts. And I got this George shirt, and this was only $3.88. I like these. I buy these for my husband, too. And um, they're soft, and they're nice. And for $3.88, you can't beat it. They come in different colors. Um, they wanted black. And, well, one wanted a men's shirt, and one wanted a woman's V-neck. So I got this one. This is a plus size, $6.96. And it's also in black. So that was really all I could find. I'm glad she wanted a V-neck because I couldn't find round neck uh, shirts in the size she needed in women's. Okay, like I tell you guys all the time, when you see something, always scan it with your Walmart app. Because even if it's regular price showing, it may be on clearance or it may be on sale and you don't know it, price down, whatever. But clearance stuff, I always... 100% check my um, on the app. Well, they had an end cap of these warm wax warmers, and so they say they are normally $15 was marked down to seven, but this was only four dollars. And this I thought was so cute. It's a galvanized house. I thought it was really cute. Here's a picture of it. So. I got this one and I also picked up another one here. I got this one for the kitchen. I'm going to save these for our house that we're building, but I thought this would be cute because I want to do the kitchen and all country. And this is Farmer's Market on it. It has a rooster and it's like one of those, um, I sure should have looked it up because I can't think what it's called, but you know like the pots with the little handles on the top and stuff, you'll see in the picture. But this one too said it was 15, it said it was marked down to 7, and it was also just $4, and this one is ceramic. So here is a picture of it showing you. I thought these were really cute, and it looks like a little jug, that's what it is. I mean, see in the picture, it looks like a jug, so I was like, oh, I gotta grab that. So I got one of each, and I think they had one other one. It could be wrong. I think they might have had another design, but I just grabbed one of each of those. Okay, here's another example of clearance stuff. Now, this Walmart we went to, they had, like, clearance items in the department. So they didn't have, like, a one section you went to to look at all the clearance stuff, which I prefer, personally, uh, because you don't have to do as much searching. But this one we found, like, by the paint and stuff like that. And they were marked $2 on the little tabby thing that, where they were hooked. But they ring up at just a dollar each. And these are a third sheet clamp sandpaper. They're 100 uh, medium grid. And there are six sheets in each one. They're Gator brand. And I know these could go on, you know, on the um, hand sander, which we have. But to be honest with you, I just take these and I just fold them over and just sand a little bit with my hand. I don't even get our hand sander out. They also had a gator. Uh, it was a smaller version, and I think it was um, hook and loop, and then you could get the smaller sheets. But they had the hand on stuff on clearance for $2, and they didn't have any of the sandpaper to go with it, though. But I thought this was good because it was the longer one. I'll get more use out of it. Now, they had different uh, types of paint. They had can paint there. They had um, spray paint, the little. They had stains, everything else. Uh, I didn't pick up. I almost picked up some of the can paint. 
Tell me if you guys know, if you buy a can of paint, I know if you buy it like at Home Depot, Lowe's, something like that, they will tint it to the color you want. But do you know if you buy, just say if I bought a small can of outdoor paint, can I tint that with like acrylic paint and just divide it up and, you know, if I need just a little bit of it or something where I can... Um, what I'm asking, I want to do different color signs, but if I say I take a cup of it out and I tint it with some acrylic paint, a certain color, can you do that? Because the can did say acrylic paint, it was for outdoors. So I wasn't sure though if that was basically the same as like what you use, you know, like the acrylic paint I buy at, um, at Walmart, the little bottles. So if you guys are familiar with how you can mix paint and stuff, could you leave a comment below and let me know if I'm able to do that. I'm, I thought I would try it, but I thought let me ask and see if somebody knows before I end up wasting the paint that I bought at Home Depot because you know that stuff ain't, it ain't cheap. Um, okay, so the next thing I got was this spray paint, and this is the Rust Oleum. And it says it's good for wood, metal, plastic, and masonry. And this is the Gilded Brass. And it said it was three fifty, but it was only a dollar. So I don't know if it has. It says normally six ninety four. It was three fifty, and then it rang up a dollar when I checked it. So that's the only reason why I got this rust -Oleum. I don't really use that paint. When I bought the glitter paint with that, none of the cans worked uh, with spray. So I lost out on that. But I thought I wanted some gold or, or some gilded brass paint. And when I saw this, I was like, let me grab it for a dollar and see how it does. And then they also had over there these cans of paint. And make sure, yes, they were that price. Um, now this is some of the uh, latex paint. And let me see what color. Hunter Green. Hunter Green. Hunter Green. Okay, I guess I just got, okay, I just got three of them. So on this one, it is the Rust-Oleum American Accents Ultra Cover Premium Latex Paint. And they're all three the same. I got one in Gloss Deep Blue, and then I got two in the Gloss Hunter Green. And they say they are normally $4.24, and they were each just a dollar. So this is what the can looks like. They're the small ones. And I was just going through uh, one of my Rubbermaid containers the other day. Because, let me tell you, you know, I, I know I'm not the only one who buys a lot of Dollar Tree stuff. But I have Rubbermaid containers and I started, you know, packing stuff up, trying to put in different areas. Because those of you that follow me know that, you know, I have a lot of stuff in my house from my mother-in-law when she moved in with us to emptied her house. We even have a storage unit. And still, I mean, we, you know, cut down on that because we were paying $300 a month to store stuff, which is just ridiculous. But anyways, so I can't find my Easter stuff. Nowhere. We searched in our family room. We searched wherever we had Rubbermaid containers. We looked in this room. I looked in my craft room. We even went to the storage unit. But we didn't pull everything out there because I really didn't think it was there. And I think now it has to be. Somehow... My husband must have grabbed that container when we were pulling stuff out of the family room, and he must have taken it. Sorry, I keep my nose keeps itching. He must have taken it to the storage unit, thinking it was, you know, uh, t holiday stuff. Because really, all I put in there was holiday decorations, and that's what he must have thought it was. But actually, it was my craft stuff. So now I want to start making Easter stuff. I can't find any of it. But I did find some stuff that I got at Hobby Lobby last year. After Easter, it was like 90% off. I found a few items from there. So I did find a couple of things, but I have like the mesh and the different color rolls of mesh and everything else, and I wanted to do something with Dollar Tree. So I don't know what happened to it, but it's got to be somewhere, and we'll find it, right? Probably after Easter, but now with us being all sick and everything. But um, So anyways, here's the two gloss green, and then here's the gloss deep blue. After I picked up the wax warmers, I was like, well, let me go look and see what kind of scents they have in the wax melts. Well, believe it or not, I found some that um, the Sensationals were on clearance, it said, for $1.50. And then the Better Homes and Garden, they said, were on clearance for $1. Well, I scanned them. They were all just $0.50. Cents. 
So I bought two of this seasoned greetings. It's a limited edition. It smells really good. Um, it, it smells like cinnamon and something. I don't know because they put the stickers over it, so I can't tell you what scents they are. But I got two of the sensationals in this color, and the or this color and the season greetings um, limited edition one. And then I also got the Sensationals and Red Hot Cinnamon, which was also a limited edition. So I got two of these and one of these, and then there's six in each one. And then the Better Homes and Garden I got was um, limited edition too, it says. And I can't tell you what scent it is because they have the sticker over it. But they all say they were originally $2. They had them marked down to $1.50 or $1, but they all bring up $0.50. Cents. They had a small section of Valentine uh, items that were 90% off. And so I looked through there. I found this cute little dog. And actually, that's not the one I want to show you first. It was this one. Um, this koala bear. His eyes look kind of funny. But this koala bear. And he didn't have a price tag on it. But he had on his label here in the back is a UPC code. So I scanned that and it came up 29 cents. So this little guy here, which is a little dog, cute little dog, he has no tag. And unfortunately his thing had no um, UPC code on it. Look, he's got little hearts on the bottom of his feet. Oh, so cute. Look. On the front too but anyways so we go through the self checkout most of the time I know a lot of people to you know post all the time on Facebook I don't get paid to work at Walmart and stuff blah 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 self checkout to me is quicker I like to scan I know exactly what the price is and if it scans up wrong I can call the lady over there right there get it fixed where a cashier they kind of you know you can bag it yourself I prefer to do it myself but that's me if you don't want to more power, go to stand in line at the register and have a cashier do it. I just rather do it myself at self checkout. So I loved it when they all these stores came out with those. But anyways, so I asked her, you know, I said, well, this doesn't have a price on it. You know, do you know what the price might be or something? And she saw, I said, I have this one. I scanned it and she said, how much did it come up? And I said, 29 cents. She said, just scan it twice. So I scanned it again and then it gave, um, it 20, so I got charged 29 cents for this one and I'm looking on my receipt here and it says that it was oh I know I just saw it right here it was 298 says you saved 269 so it was originally 298 and I was um, charged 29 cents for each of these I thought they would be cute maybe on a wreath next year this one I didn't notice his eyes look kind of funny I think it's how the fuzz is or the fur so I might wet that down and kind of straighten it out. But I thought they were cute for um, wreaths and cheaper than Dollar Tree. Then I found these two can holders, and or it says beverage holder. These were also Valentine Day. And it says, it's not drinking alone if the cat is home. And they're hot pink with the black cats on them. And I thought they were so cute. And these, they say, are normally $1.98. And they were only $0.19. Cents. So I thought they were cute. We don't drink anything out of a can, so but I have friends that are all cat lovers, so I'll be giving these to someone. And then I found this color-changing LED window light. And let's see if it says the regular price. It doesn't have the regular price, but it was only $0.25. Cents. And I think this is, it looks like a snowflake, so, but it doesn't look like it's Christmas. It says LED battery powered. And this happened, I found it, it was just sitting on boxes. I found a bunch of uh, lawn equipment that was on clearance. And this was just sitting on top of one of the items that was on clearance over there in the lawn, in the garden department. So I picked that up. And then I found this um, cube here. This is an L monogram. I thought it was really cute. It's got the little. Uh, ribbon to hang it by and let's see if it gives it doesn't give the regular price on this but I'm assuming 250 or something if it was 10% I don't, I don't. 
looking on the back. It doesn't say anything. This is an ornament, so I guess this is part of Christmas, too. But it was in the Valentine section. But anyways, it has an L. I figure I could always either pull that out or put something over it. I could do something with this, with the craft. Put a picture in there or something for Christmas time. And then I found this tin, and it has a cookie in it. I'm not going to eat the cookie, because it's probably no good anymore. Um, I don't even know what kind of cookie. Oh, it's a heart-shaped sugar cookie. It has a little sugar cookie in there. But the tin, I thought was so cute. It was 25 cents. Sorry, I'm starting to sniffle again. But anyways, um, the tin I thought was really cute. It says, I woof you. This was a Valentine thing. And it says, original sugar cookie with a little dog on there. I got it really just for the tin. So that was 25 cents. And then I found this Valentine um, tablecloth. And this is... 70 inch diameter. It looks like it's round. It was only 39 cents. So I picked this up because I figured I could put it over the table, maybe cut it up to do a wreath with it. It's got the um, red, pink, and like purple with on the white. You can see the pattern there. I thought for 39 cents I could even just put it down to do crafts over, you know, lay it on my table to do crafts on and stuff. I could find something to do with that. Now, I've been looking for these for some time and cannot find them at any Walmart. And I finally found them at this one. So I picked up three. This is the Lamb's Ear. Everybody talks about get the Lamb's Ear at Walmart. Never find them by me. And they are $2. And I know, it feels like it's so um, dark in here. So anyways, you get two stems, and that's what the lamb's ear looks like. And I got three different bushels of them, of three two-packs. And then I also got a lavender, and this was $3, I believe. Um, pretty sure this was $3, yeah. This was $3, but, you know, I looked at the one they have at... Dollar Tree and I just didn't like it first of all the one that they came out with this year and stuff sheds a lot and It just I don't know. I just didn't think it looked as nice as this So to me it was worth it paying the extra two dollars into you get a lot more They I, I, it just looks more realistic to me this one than the Dollar Tree one So you can see how long these are. I mean it comes all the way out to here to here. I mean, that's how long so this is long, a long stem. It's good. Actually, I bought that one, and then I got another one at the other store. And I only found one at each store, so I got lucky. This must sell out really quick because I never see it. And then I find two at I find them at once at two different stores. Blah, I can't talk. I finally find them at two different stores, and I can only find one at each store. So I needed two, so that worked out for me. Also at this other store, I picked up a couple of clearance items, and I got these scent burst. I've never heard of these before, and maybe it's just me, and this is cashmere amber. They're like these little bottles, and they just have, if you can see at the bottom there, there's just like little beads in there. And I'm not sure how much these are. They didn't say regular price. Oh, wait, here. It says normally $2.97. They were marked $1.50, but then they only ring up $0.75. Cents. So I wasn't sure how these work or if they really smell good or whatever. So I only picked up two of them. And I'm sure they're all gone now. But anyways, I got two to try. And then I also got this mug. And I thought this was cute. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. This is Christmas. And it doesn't have a price on it, but the Christmas stuff's all 90% off. This is only 25 cents. It's just Santa face on there. And in the back, it's even got like the um, different ridges. And I don't know if you can see that, but where it looks like his hair is back there. And then here is the front. 
He was only 25 cents, so I picked him up. I just thought he was cute. And, oh, and then I picked up another one of these glass um, boards. And again, these are $14.74, or $14 they say, and they're marked down to $2. I picked up two others before on different hauls, and this store had them, and they actually had, um, well, the pen is missing, but they have the screws and the anchors, the two magnetic, and then the pen holder, because you could put this on a board around the cork board. But I'm going to be using it for when I use my wood burner or whatever to cut mesh or something. So that's why I was like, good, I got three. I think I'm going to see if I can find one more and put them side by side so then I can measure across and I can keep going instead of having to keep moving just the, what is this, probably 12 inches or something, 14 inches. So anyways, I picked up another one of those and it was, like I said, just $2. So that was definitely worth it. So this is it for the Walmart haul. I do have an AC Moore haul. I spent a lot of money there, but it's not my fault. It's my husband's fault because he's the one suggested we go there. So I'm sure he probably regretted that after we checked out. And two, you know, Elsa sales are final, so it's not like you can, uh, you know, bring anything back. And plus, I didn't get a couple of things in my cart. I changed my mind and didn't get them. And still, some of the prices weren't ringing up the way that they the sign said, like I posted in my other video. But anyways, I'll do a different haul on that and show you all the great things I got there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do. And if you do, hit that bell so you always get notified when I post a new video. So thanks everyone for watching and until next time. Bye everyone!